What's up guys, Ben here and welcome to the overview part of the PC Build 2015. Now this is the last part of the whole series but be sure to stay tuned to the playlist and my channel for further upgrades and modifications I do like overclocking or adding some LEDs or changing out a part uh, or adding parts in. So yeah, stay tuned for that, but we're gonna do the overview of the PC that we got all the parts for, which we unboxed, built, and did the benchmarks for. So yeah, you guys have been waiting for this. It was This video is actually a week late, which so was the benchmarks, but that is due to my broken collarbone at the moment, and it actually kills still. Still broken, and that should take about four more weeks to fully repair. But I'm still gonna be making videos for you guys, and we're gonna get straight into this one now. So I'm really happy with the PC at the moment. I've got a few games i've got bf4 counter strike go we've got black ops 2 grid auto sport um i really want to pick up a controller though like a controller adapter for grid auto sport as uh, i'm finding it really hard using the keyboard and mouse for that but every other game i'm getting used to the keyboard and mouse setup as you guys know that i did come from the ps4 background in an xbox 360 so i've never really been playing games on a keyboard but it you get the grips of it really really quick especially on stuff like battlefield in the first person shooters but with the racing games me personally, I'm going to be picking up a controller and I do thoroughly recommend it for you guys, unless you're really into the keyboard game. Now, speaking of keyboards and mouse, I've actually got the Logitech MX Performance Mouse, which I used to use using my Mac. And it's a really great mouse for editing. It's not necessarily a gaming mouse, but I did actually spend about £50, £60 or so on this mouse and I don't really want to be buying another gaming mouse. But the keyboard I'm using is a Dell keyboard, which actually came with the XPS um, PC that my dad owns. But he obviously doesn't use that because he's got his own keyboard already. But I'm just using that for now and I'm hoping to pick up a Corsair um, mechanical keyboard. Either the K65 or the K70. But comment below any keyboards you think I should pick up or try out. Because I'm not really too sure about the moment. I could either go for a Kale Switch or a Cherry Switch. I'm not sure it's go cheap, medium, or high. But yeah, talk to me guys in that in the below. And I'm actually using a dual setup at the moment, dual screen, that is. Uh, just an old screen I had, and of course my Zeus um, 1080p monitor. Link in the description. Now, as you saw yesterday, the average FPS for Battlefield 4, which is actually a kind of intense game on Ultra and 1080p, was 120 FPS around that. So it's great for the 1080p gaming and I probably think this would do 1440p gaming really easily around the 70 to 80 FPS average uh, FPS on that. And maybe 4K, I'll probably say roughly around the 50 FPS, it may handle that. But you obviously have to tweak the settings down to high or medium instead of ultra though for that. Now let's actually get onto the look of the PC and everything in it. So you guys know the parts and all the parts are working together very nicely. Now the temperatures when in game really, uh, like when you're playing a BF4 or a game like that for ages, you're, uh, the PC's kind of heating up a bit around the 70 degrees mark. I haven't actually overclocked this but I'm hoping to overclock it but the temperatures I don't know at the moment because it's already at 4 gigahertz so I'm not really too sure if I need to um, overclock it but the graphics card runs really cool uh, the fans don't even turn on until it reaches a certain um, degrees and one in everyday tasks like watching YouTube surfing the web uploading videos um, it only really ever turns on when I'm rendering a video out on Premiere Pro and playing a game for at least an hour or maybe a tiny bit less now now I thought I might have accidentally bought a power supply with not enough wattage. Well I knew I had enough wattage but maybe not enough for the whole future and all that kind of stuff. But it's actually held up very very well and I might pick up a couple cable extensions to make it look really nice and red cable extensions which just plug onto the end of the cable you've already got and it will add a little bit of length but it makes it look really really nice on the visible aesthetics of the PC. I also might pick up some LED lighting to make the whole PC nice and red and look pretty nice. You see the graphics card's going really well like I said. The CPU is going well apart from maybe the temperatures are a bit higher than I expected but it's obviously like an i7. It's 
running at quite a high clock speed so that may be kind of like what you're thinking and all that the ram uh once i powered on the pc it does actually start at 1600 megahertz and me and my friend actually put it all the way up to 2400 where it's meant to be at and that was easy enough the motherboard's great at the moment and just an all-around great motherboard it's got great sound as well at the back when i plug in my hyperx cloud headset now the h100i has actually got a really cool feature that i like which is the corsair link well this is where i can look at all my temperatures the cpu load fan speeds i control all that and one thing about controlling the fan speeds i did actually have to uh if you saw the build we plugged in the we kept the fans plugged into the back of the pc on the fan controller thing at the back but obviously it doesn't actually have a control on it it's just kind of a hub and the bad thing about that is it just keeps all the fans on at full speed so what we did is take all the the connectors out and plugged it straight into the motherboard connectors now i can actually put them down to say 500 rpm if i'm just on youtube and then maybe when i'm editing just rev them up a tiny bit now in the build i actually did do the um build with my friend will who's actually he knows a lot about computers to be honest and he's got the same graphics card as me and roughly around the same spec pc as me and he's been doing gaming he's got bf4 and all that kind of lot and yeah so we basically built that it took us around about three hours maybe a tiny bit more and the reason why the lighting kind of changed was it was straight after school and that was back when it was kind of getting dark and all that um and it did take us two days because of some stuff will had to do and like it was getting a bit late and stuff now i'm really enjoying the pc at the moment it does everything i wanted it to do and maybe in the future i will overclock and add some upgrades add some modifications I want to do like lighting and cable extensions and I'm going to give you guys a setup tour very soon but the problem is I can't really sort out my setup that much in the moment now I've added this PC as the cables are kind of all over the place and I can't really do much because of my broken collarbone uh, I can't really kind of lean down and tie everything up with um, cable ties and all that I'm hoping to get some LED strips for the PC and for the desk and maybe in the future I'm going to get another monitor the same as my Zeus one or Go for two 27 inch Samsung monitors. Comment below what do you think I should do. The Samsung monitors will be a PLS display, so it'll have a lower millisecond response time. No, a higher millisecond response time at five millisecond compared to my one millisecond. But I'm not sure that's gonna make too much difference. But I'll get two of those or two of the ones I've already got. So comment below what you think on that. Hope you guys enjoyed the PC playlist. I've played some like role play in the background of the PC and stuff. And I'm going to be sorting out all the thumbnails for the PC projects, like, so they look all really nice on the channel. But anyway, guys, like the video, watch all the videos on the playlist if you haven't seen them yet. Check out any of the videos on the screen in a minute. And, yes, I'll get back to you soon with some more videos. See ya, guys. See you.